This is Taking Stock on Bloomberg. I'm Pim Fox. All right, let's get a beat on what is going on at the Goldman Sachs Technology and Internet Conference from an attendee. And also, he is the president and CEO of Xilinx. We have Moshe Gavrielov. Moshe, welcome to Bloomberg. Hi, Pim. It's great to be back. So, uh, Moshe, you know, I know you've been going around, you know, taking whatever the free pens or, you know, tote bags are at the, uh, the Goldman Sachs at Technology and Internet Conference. But what are you hearing? What is the, the buzz right now? Well, uh, generally in the semiconductor industry, we're seeing brisk recovery, and uh, we're seeing it quite on a broad basis, in particular at Xilinx. We've had, just had a record quarter, and we've increased our targets for the growth and uh, margins for the next few years. Moshe, you talk about what's happening at Xilinx. Explain a little bit about programmable logic and also the customer base. You've got Cisco, for example, a big customer of Xilinx. What's programmable logic and why is that relevant? Um, our devices are used by tens of thousands of customers, and they're all household names that you'd recognize, Cisco, Sony, Ericsson, Huawei, etc., to differentiate their products from those of their competition. So we provide chips that basically enable our customers to come out with unique, highly differentiated, leading-edge products in a very cost-effective and timely way. So they would be used in things like HDTV, as well as ultrasound devices, even navigation systems for automobiles and entertainment systems, right? Uh, th those are a few examples, and then all of the infrastructure for the Internet is primarily built uh, using programmable devices. It's, they're basically ubiquitous. You can find them almost everywhere. Now, you've made a change to going to something in the manufacturing system to 28 nanometers. Why is something that small so big? Well, it's very important for us to enable our customers to have cheaper, more powerful devices which require more, uh, less, less power at each generation. And the 28 nanometer is the leading edge technology which, uh, due to Moore's law, enables that for a broad set of applications. Now, Moshe, a lot of the popularity and demand for programmable logic uh, chips coming out of China because of the mobile phone build-out. How much of that is already baked into everybody's estimate? Should we expect even headier growth? Uh, we expect year-to-year -year growth because in China, as in other emerging countries, they're investing very heavily in building up a 21st century infrastructure. They're doing that in phases. They've just about completed the third phase, and they're moving now to the fourth phase of deployment. And uh, we expect them to do that in full force around the middle of the year. Uh, Moshe, you know, a lot of the uh, the issues surrounding programmable logic and chips has to do with, what, the, maybe the fear of shortages, and so people ordering a lot more than they really need. Is the, the shortage a real fear? Have you seen a buildup in inventory? Uh, well, in our case, and as we've checked at all of our customers, we don't see any significant buildup, and we are actually scrambling to make sure that they, uh, we have enough devices to provide their requirements. We basically have a time-to-market paradigm, and as such, it's essential that we have enough inventory on hand to enable our customers to meet their requirements. But our inventories are at a very low level at this point in time, and our major customers continue to uh, invest and to build new products, and we're just seeing that pass through as their sales continue. All right. I want to thank you very much, uh, Moshe Gavrielov. He is the president and CEO of Xilinx, maker of programmable logic uh, chips. Moshe, thank you very much.